Ah, oh, this hand. If I just had one more land. We do have a ponder and a preordain. I'm going to keep it, though. It's kind of sketchy here. Playing against blue. Turn one preordain. Alright. Uh, puts two cards on the bottom. It's a good sign. We're just going to play this little Flutter Cliffs and pass the turn. Next turn we're going to go Ponder. Looking for land. Opponent plays a Ponder. This could be any number of decks. Tribes, Is It Blitz, Blue Delver, Blue Red Delver. Uh, he chooses not to shuffle. Plays a Delver. Oh, gosh. Do I want to bolt this down and not cantrip? This seems really... Uh, hmm. He didn't shuffle, so he probably lined up a Delver flip. So it's probably in my best interest to kill this Delver. If he would have shuffled... And I probably would not kill the Delver, but I think getting this Delver off the board is pretty important. So we're just going to bolt it. Hopefully he doesn't daze. Wow. Okay. Well, there it is. This is obviously going to flip. Whoa, what? That's very shocking. That is extremely shocking. Alright, come on land. Not a land. Well, I'm going to use Ponder here. I need land. Hopefully a red source. A mountain would be great. Aw, oh, jeez. Wow. Well, the Delver doesn't flip. Opponent plays a Ponder. So he's probably going to line up the Delver flip here. Chooses not to shuffle. So he's going to hold up Counterspell. Um, I mean, he obviously has a Counterspell, but we can't just not play anything. We're going to go for a Preordain here. <clears throat> and he's most likely going to counter this. He does not. Wow. Um, I want both these cards. But I want the mountain first, I think. And we are going to try and chain lightning the Delver, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah. Now this is going to get countered. Counter spell. Mm hmm. The Delver has to flip here. What? He's not shuffling with his cantrips, yet his Delver is not flipping. What is this? Puts two cards on bottom. Plays a Delver. Gets in for two. There's the island. What do we want to do here? Do I want to flame slash and then maybe hold up mana leak? I don't think preordain is necessary because I have plenty of spells to play. Maybe I should play thermal alchemist first. Mm. I think I need to go on the control path here. I think I need to flame slash one of the delvers.
Yeah. We're gonna flame slash the Delver. And then I, I guess we'll... Uh, I'm not sure if I want to hold up Mana Leak. Or... Play, play something. Hmm... We'll hold up Mana Leak. I could go Flame Slash Preordain there. Ponder. Alright. And he plays the Ponder. Let's make sure it's the same arts. It is. Okay. So I could have went Flame Slash Preordain. Is an option, but I like the Mana Leak option. He plays nothing. Alright. Well, let's go with the Flame Slash. And we're going to Mana Leak that. Play this with Water Cliffs. Pass the turn. So he's at four cards. He may ninja here. Nope. He just passes the turn. Ooh. Thunderous Wrath. We'll reveal it. We're going to cast it on our opponent. I don't think dealing five to the fairy is really necessary. He may counter this. He does. Okay. So, I think I want to play the Archer and then Preordain. Or is it worth it playing Preordain first? I don't think so. I think sneaking in that one damage is fine. Red, blue, Archer. Blue, Preordain, auto yield to the Archer. Brainstorm, Chain Lightning. Both of these are okay. Do I really want the Brainstorm, though? Yeah, I suppose so. We'll take the Chain Lightning first. Pass the turn. There's a brainstorm. He gets in for one. Three cards in his hand. Probably a counter magic or two. All right. Hmm. Let's attack. Alright, let's try to chain lightning this fairy. In response to this, I am going to brainstorm. I'm going to try and find some counter magic here. Mana Leak would be amazing, and I do draw it. Fantastic. So I'm not going to be able to play any of my other spells. I suppose I'll just... Uh, let's see. I don't really need the Flame Slash immediately, so I can put that to the top, and then I'll put Brainstorm to the top. I think that's fine. Hopefully he doesn't have a daze here. Alright, well. Hmm. 
Okay, so he goes up to three cards. We are at one. He plays a land. And there's the Spire Golem, so the Flame Slash is going to be useful. And there's an Arabolus. See what it digs up. Hopefully it's a whiff. Please be a whiff. Preordain. Okay. Probably going to play it here. Whoa, he's not going to play the Preordain. That's interesting. So we have a Flame Slash on the top of our deck. would be useful against the Spire Golem. Hmm. Might as well get it. So we'll put back the... Let's see, we're going to cast Flame Slash, Thermo Alchemist. So we can put back one island, one alchemist. Flame Slash this guy. No need to attack. Pass the turn. I wonder why he didn't cast this preordain that last turn. There it is. Two cards on bottom. It's good news for us. Vapor snag. And Gush. So he's got two islands in his hand. One island. He just played one. One island and two unknown cards. There's another Vapor Snag. Alright, so he's got an island and an unknown card. He gets in for one. He's bounced our whole board state into our hand here. Uh, what do we want to do? I think Double Alchemist is best because it stops him from attacking. Red, blue, pass turn. No, there's the island we knew about. So he's got two unknown cards, a fairy, alright. We need to play a little bit faster. This could easily go to time. Hmm. We'll play the archer. I'm going to hold on to this land. I want him to think I have something. The fairy beating on us is going to suck. He may have a ninja in his hand. He's got one card. Oh, and he scoops it up. Wow. Well, we managed to take it down. Um... Yeah, I feel like we probably would have been able to get there eventually. These mana leaks would have been lightning bolts as well. Yeah, and then thunderous, th thunderous wrath. Yeah, we would have we would have been able to take it. I'm pretty confident on. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See ya.